Who are the greatest football coaches of all time? This question ignites passionate discussions, sparks endless debate, and stirs deep-seated rivalries among football fans all over the world. From every nook and cranny of this vast, football-loving planet, the names of coaches who have left indelible marks on the game continue to echo. Today, we voyage through the grand stages and hallowed halls of football history, from the rough, grassy knolls of local pitches to the awe-inspiring arenas of international championships. Our intent? To pay homage to the masterminds, the tacticians, the architects behind some of the most iconic teams, and the unforgettable moments that the beautiful game has ever witnessed. Our journey commences in the late 19th century, meandering through the annals of time with the legendary figure William Bill Struth, a name that reverberates through the ages, synonymous with unyielding tenacity, brilliant strategy, and an unparalleled passion for the game. Struth took the helm at Rangers Football Club in the year 1920, a time when the world was still reeling from the aftermath of the Great War, and football was a beacon of hope for many. His reign, which lasted an astonishing 34 years, was a testament to his unwavering commitment and deep understanding of the game. It was during this era that Rangers Football Club transformed from a competent team to an unstoppable force. Under his guidance, Rangers clinched an incredible 18 league titles, 10 Scottish Cups, and 2 League Cups. Each victory a chapter in the illustrious book of Struth's career. Struth was not only a coach, he was a mentor, an inspiration, and a visionary. He shaped Rangers with his distinctive style, a blueprint that is still evident in the team's ethos today. His influence stretches far beyond the touchline, imprinted in every player he coached, every strategy he planned, and every victory his teams achieved. Struth's legacy lives on, an emblem of excellence, setting the bar high for future coaches, his name forever etched in the annals of football history, a reminder of what sheer dedication, resilience, and love for the sport can achieve. His story is a beacon, illuminating the path for future generations of coaches, Indeed, the legacy of William Bill Struth undoubtedly sets the bar high for future coaches. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and the name Sir Matt Busby resonates with football fans. This notable Scotsman became an icon in the dynamic world of football. His expertise, talent, and unique managerial strategies were unparalleled, and his impact was nothing short of transformative. Born in 1809 in a small Scottish town known as Orbiston, Sir Matt Busby had a humble start. His connection to the sports began when he was just a child, playing football with his schoolmates. The love he had for the game was evident, and it didn't take long before he was recognized for his talent and passion. Fast forward a few years to 1945, Sir Matt Busby was appointed the manager of Manchester United, one of the most prestigious football teams in England. His tenure at Manchester United was marked by a series of remarkable victories and significant accomplishments. He managed this phenomenal team from 1945 to 1969, a period during which Manchester United soared to new heights. His leadership saw the transformation of the club into a powerhouse of football, a force to be reckoned with. He was the architect of the team famously known as the Busby Babes, a group of talented young players who would go on to become legendary figures in the world of football. This was followed by the creation of the United Trinity, another exceptional team under his tutelage which continued to uphold the legacy of Manchester United. Under his leadership, Manchester United won five league titles, asserting their dominance over English football. But Sir Matt Busby wasn't one to rest on his laurels. He had a vision for Manchester United to be recognized not just in England, but across Europe. That vision was realized in 1968, when Manchester United became the first English club to win the European Cup. This achievement was a testament to Sir Matt Busby's commitment, perseverance, and his ability to inspire his team to reach unprecedented heights. His legacy continues to inspire generations of football fans and players. His name is forever etched in the annals of football history as a symbol of excellence and triumph. And so, even today, the name Sir Matt Busby resonates with football fans. 
His Busby Babes and the subsequent United Trinity won five league titles and became the first English club to win the European Cup in 1968. The 1970s saw the rise of Rhinus Michaels, a name etched forever in the annals of football history. The man was much more than just a coach. He was a symbol, a beacon of change in a world that was ready for the new. Born in Amsterdam, Rhinus Michaels was a Dutch footballer and coach whose influence transcended beyond football fields, reaching into the deepest corners of sports philosophy. Rhinus Michaels was a remarkable personality who brought about a significant shift in the dynamics of football. He is often credited with inventing total football, a term that has been synonymous with his name. This wasn't just a style of play, this was a philosophy, an ideology that would revolutionize the way football was perceived and played. A strategy that emphasized fluidity and flexibility on the pitch, as opposed to rigid positions and fixed tactics. Michaels believed in the power of teamwork, of every player understanding every position, of each athlete on the field being a fluid, interchangeable part of a larger, unified machine. This idea was revolutionary at the time, challenging the traditional norms and changing the perceptions of both players and spectators alike. His work with Ajax, the popular Dutch football club, and the Netherlands national team proved to point, setting a new standard for tactical innovation in football. Under Michaels, Ajax blossomed into one of the most formidable teams in Europe, known for its swift, coordinated attacks and impenetrable defense. But it wasn't just about the victories, it was about the way the game was played, the passion with which each move was executed, the mesmerizing patterns that emerged on the field, all flowing from the genius of one man, Rhinus Michels. His vision and his unwavering dedication to the principles of total football have undeniably left an indelible mark on the sport. His work with Ajax and the Netherlands national team set a new standard for tactical innovation in football. In the 1980s and 90s, Arrigo Saki and Sir Alex Ferguson emerged as transformative figures. Saki's AC Milan team were European powerhouses, winning two consecutive European Cups. His high-pressing offside trap tactics redefined defensive play. Meanwhile, Sir Alex Ferguson's reign at Manchester United was nothing short of legendary, yielding 13 Premier League titles, five FA Cups and two Champions League trophies. The turn of the century brought forth the era of Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. Guardiola's Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Manchester City teams have won numerous league titles and Champions League trophies, playing attractive possession-based football. Mourinho, on the other hand, has enjoyed success in four different leagues, showcasing his tactical acumen and adaptability. To summarize, the greatest football coaches of all time are those who have not only won trophies but also influenced the game in profound ways. From the early days of Bill Struth, through the eras of Sir Matt Busby, Rhinus Michaels, Arrigo Saki, Sir Alex Ferguson, to the modern-day successes of Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho, these coaches have left indelible marks on the beautiful game. These coaches have shaped football as we know it today, through their tactical innovations, player development and sheer will to win. They've set the standards that current and future coaches aspire to meet. Their stories serve as a reminder that football is not just a game, but a craft honed by the greatest minds in the sport.